Okay, I'm going to do a very quick example of how to use um, F-Solve because you use it in problem three of your homework. So, I'll show you how you would find this information. I told you in the problem statement you should use F-Solve, so I would search F-Solve Python. And it's going to come up right here. Here's the reference. It's in SciPy. Um, Dot optimize is where it would be found, and it's called fsolve. So I'm going to open up Python, and the first thing I'm going to do is import that because I know I'm going to need it. Um, I'm just going to copy this. Actually, I'm going to say from import. Okay, so with what fsolve does is it basically finds when a function uh, that you've defined or that you pass it is equal to zero, and it can take some initial guess and it can also take some arguments. So uh, let's just do like uh, log base ten. So um, I'm going to define a function ten to the and it's going to take in value x. And uh, for now, it's going to take in something else. I'm just going to leave it there for now and explain why. I'm going to change it a bit. But all it's going to return is return uh, 10 raised to the power x. OK. So if I define this, it ran. 10 to the 3. What you expect. 2, 1, 0. So it works like you'd expect. Uh, let's say that we wanted to uh, calculate the log base 10 of, I don't know, 2. So I'm going to find the true value of that by import. NumPy as MP and true log ten of two equals NP dot log ten of two. Let's print these out. Print so I run it. I get log base 10 of 2. Okay, um, let's say, as is the case in your homework, you need to use fsolve to find when this function returns a particular value. You want to tell it what value you want it to return. So, the number that we're ultimately after is going to be this 0.30103. Um, but how to get there without using log base 10? Because you, you're going to have a hard time solving Van der Waals equation for uh, pressure. I mean, for molar volume. And that's what we want. The molar volume at pressure at 850 kPa. So I'm going to use, well, let's go back and look at fsolve. What does it take in? It, uh, First you type fsolve, and then the first thing it takes in is a function, which we've defined. Then it takes in some initial guess, some starting estimation, and then whatever arguments go to that function. And then a bunch of other things we're not going to worry about. We're not going to use those right now. So let's say estimated. Estimated log base 2 of 10 is going to equal f solve. And uh, the first thing we need to give it is the function name. We've named it 10 to the 10 to the. So I'm gonna put it in there, 10 to the. Next thing we send it is an initial guess. I'm just gonna send it one is my initial guess. And if I run this, it's not going to work very well. 
and I'll show you why in just a sec. Let me uh, do some formatting of this so I can print both numbers out. So I'm going to print the true, and I'm going to print the estimated. I'm going to do the true one is in the zeroth position of the dot format command there. And I'm going to format it to have 10 spaces and uh, six sig figs, and it's going to be a float. And I'm going to say true equals. And I'm going to say estimated equals. And I'm basically just going to use the same formatting. So I'm just going to copy that, put it here, but I can't have zero here because I want the estimated log base 10 of 2. So that's in the 1 position. 0, 1, and if there are more, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means this is going to jump into here, this is going to jump into here. So I'm going to run this. Oh, didn't like something I did. What didn't it like? Is it this? Oh, no. It's not that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry, keeps switching between languages. When uh, fsolve returns a value, it returns it in, it in an array. So if I want the first value of that, it's going to be, have to be square brackets uh, zero. And it's, there's only one value, but still it returned it in an array. There. It did it, but it gave me a warning that it reached its maximum iterations. That is because fsolve tries to find where that function will return zero. It's never going to return zero. That's why it crashed. So, um, I'm just going to open a blank presentation. Present something I can write with. Pointer pen. So, our function f of x that we defined is just equals 10 to the power x. If we send this to f solve, what it basically does is set our function equal to zero, which we don't want. We want to know when our function equals two. So if we wanted to solve for 10 to the power x equals two, we need our f of x to equal 10 to the power x minus 2. <laughs> wow. So when that equals 0, when we find an x where this equation here works out, uh, then that is the, the answer we're after. That's log base 10 of 2. Um, so if you just start with this one, it's not going to work. But if in there you've got this minus the, the value that you want that function to be to be equal to, then f solve will work. So discard. Okay, so we need somewhere in here minus some new value. I could put minus two there. And if I do that, it's gonna work. I got the true value and the estimated value are equal. But what if I wanted, you know, some, any random value that I, I might send it? I could put minus y here, and comma, I'll also pass it y. I'm going to have the default value be 0. So I'm going to run this. It didn't work because now y is 0. But the reason why I would do that is 10 to the 2. That still works. So if you want to use this function to both calculate your pressures using Van der Waals and uh, the Hadoop gas law, then you'd want the default y to be 0. And that way it doesn't mess with your equation. So then the question becomes, how do I pass you know, the value I want onto this function? And I just have to, in the after the, the initial guess, I just have to give it the arguments, the additional arguments. So. The initial guess is going to go in where x is, and then whatever I put after that in a tuple, 
will end up being the argument. So if I give it uh, one, run that, it gives me basically where uh, 10 to the power x equals one, which is where x is zero. But if I put in two, it should give me the right value, and it did. So basically, I, you know, f fault, f solve is basically doing the log to the base ten. So gives me that. If I go three, gives me 0.477. If I go np dot log ten three it should give me 4.77. There we go. So that's how you would use f solve to find where a function equals a particular value. Hope that helps.